Uh, NBA Youngboy is one of my favorite artists. He makes wonderful music. He dropped this song. It's called Little Top. I love this song. I bump it all the time. But you don't see it chart high on billboards. You know why? He gets no radio. But everybody, Zero radio. everybody uses. You don't get no radio because. But everybody, they, you it's not really, all right. You understand? In generation we at. A lot of but people. It matters. Who, it who the people? Who, who who are the artists that labels call? Who are the artists that labels call? And say, yo, do a, do a record with my artist, please, because they need it. Who's those artists? I say NBA Youngboy is one of them. They call him um, Roddy Rich. Roddy Rich, yeah, Roddy Rich. Right now, you put him so on the record. So those two, those two. Okay. People call Roddy Rich and NBA Youngboy so they can help artists who fell off one, or artists who, just to get them hot, like get them a little exposed, or okay. make them stream more, right? Okay. Who's let me see NBA Youngboy? Who has he worked with in the, like right now? He got a track for the Migos. That's I like that track. Where did um, that chart? Um, I think it fifties or sixties, I believe. Fifties or sixties? Yeah, but he also got a track with I love the track he got with um, um, Future Trillionaires, Fire. He got a new joint with Baby that is I think oh that's a call I forgot what it's called but it's fire like Young Boy right now is oh, no no but he's, you he's, but you see where I'm getting to okay labels call them to help artists who fell off or not even who fell off to probably to help them stream more okay you know what I'm saying yeah and what I'm trying to say is that people like that don't get the right exposure they, they need because they don't get called to the war shows why NBA Youngboy is such he a didn't get a BT award nomination that's crazy he didn't get a BT award nomination Uzi didn't get a, a that, BT but, but nomi that, but you know award what, nomination but you, know why I say, you, but you know why I say that's crazy because you gotta understand that the labels beat these people into your head they beat, and Drake is always going to be a winner, but other than Drake, you're getting your head beaten with Matt. You don't really like, you don't want. But they're established brands. But they're like, you're commercial, you, you don't speak your mind, you're a label plant, you're going to be commercialized, you're going to say whatever we tell you to say. Because a kid like 6 9 a kid like NBA Youngboy, a kid like 6 9 a kid like Uzi, don't. Like, if they wanted to go and release a song or an album, they'll just do it. When a label says, don't do it, or there's these repercussions. You know what I'm trying to say? No, I get it. So, so, they don't follow the rules. And so, so let me ask you this. Like, you see how I call out niggas like Future Meek Mail that people are like, don't do that because it's going to burn bridge. Labels are scared of that shit. Award shows are scared of that shit. It's, it's hip hop. They want it to be so commercialized. It's hip hop. It's hip hop. You gotta understand that. It's hip hop. Niggas ain't ready. Niggas ain't ready for that shit. So, are you fighting a fight for the, for the newer rappers? It seems like that's what it I'm is. Not, I'm fighting a fight. It feels like, no, honestly, because, I mean, of course, they might not care yo, about yo, it like yo, that yo, much. Yo, but, me, but, but, Pledge, Pledge, hold on, Pledge. Uzi, I believe, out of rappers we care about, sold the highest this year. And didn't get a nomination. Don't get no nomination, and also you his records that fans love don't go number one. You know what I mean? Like it, that single doesn't go number one. But explain to you know why? Explain to them and let them know that the labels, like you gotta understand, all of this is about money and politics. They will never put Little Uzi number one because one, he doesn't follow the rules. That is the stupidest thing in the world, right? People, an artist should have complete artist control and. Do, do whatever they want their their own artists but they're never gonna give a person their credit because this industry is so listen right now to all the rappers that gotta listen if you're a rapper and you have a thousand followers right now if you're a rapper right now and you follow academics and you have a thousand followers and you have 500 followers 600 followers maybe 17,000 followers maybe like you're not known you're a rapper understand this this game is not what it is this it's hard to make it here because the labels and like the execs and the the big dogs, they're only gonna make you as big as they want you to. So, f and and please understand this. Don't let this go over your head. You can work hard and achieve anything you 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 fucking put in your brain. You can literally do it. You can literally do it. When you enter the music industry, you're gonna learn. 
I'm going against the big dogs, right? Who yeah. am I going against? You're going against uh, Bieber, Ariana Grande. Gaga. The Celine, Selena Gomez is of the world, the Lady Gaga. And who got the number one record in the world? This week you got it. Do I listen to any rules of hip hop? No. Okay. Understand that anything you put into your brain and say, I'm going to do it, 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 you're going to be able to do it. What I'm trying to tell you is that the people you see winning today are not winning, uh, they are not winning because they are hot. The labels themselves, these big music executives, are putting money and 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 money into them. They're here, here, but spin this record, spin this record, keep spinning it, keep spinning it. It's all, it's all computerized. I'm letting you know that. I have the number one record in the world. I'm letting you know. Are you saying basically it needs to buy, buy number one? Yes, they know. I've been saying that. Listen. When you have a number one record and it and you could put bundles together and all this shit, which if it's legal, we're gonna do it. And fans, diehard glory fans are gonna buy it. When does it become about the music? NBA young boy that has a whole bunch of street fans and maybe street kids and everything that he makes awesome music. Would he ever have a number one? Because what if his fans don't have the money to buy a t-shirt or bundles or in any shape or form, put bundle packages together to sell. He will never have a number one. That's fucked up. <laughs> My man, YK Osiris says, you make the music game weird. <laughs> I make the music game weird? I'm not even going to address that. I'm not even going to address that. You box to sell records. Like, I, why, why, why would I even say that? Yeah. Matter of fact, should we even put, give you some, some, some air time right now? Yeah, to YK, man. I actually like the kid. He believes in God. Why is a good guy? I think. Nah, he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He just, I don't know why would you say that. He's an idiot. But yeah. Um, but yeah, guys. So I think I think that's pretty much it. I really want to play uh, back. I'm not going to lie. I, I, I think you kind of got on here with a lot of energy to like just kind of get at other people. But I think you, you're taking a more of a humble approach, man. Yo, yo. I think the question's always been what happens when you win. So for this week, you won. Yeah, I won. And by the way, somebody just sent me, oh. Nah, that's me. Oh, nah. yeah. Oh, Google's Platinum. They know that Google's Platinum, right? Yeah, well, it's, it's officially certified. But, but... What happens when you win? Are you, because I'm not... I feel like you went off being the underdog. But you're not the underdog anymore. You're competing with Selena Gomez. Well, yeah, I'm the underdog. Who's bigger, me or Selena Gomez? Selena Gomez. I'm the underdog. Yeah, but when it comes to rappers, like... You're not the underdog anymore. The fucking underdog. No, you're not. I'm the fucking underdog itself. Hold on. Yo, all right, everybody. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna play. I'm gonna do one thing for you guys, right? Give me a song y'all want me to play right now. I'll play. Everybody has to comment the same song, and whatever song I see the most, I'm gonna play. Comment the song that you guys want to hear right now, and I'll bump it. I won't be no hater. I won't be no hater. Bump. Put it right there, and I'm going to bump it, and then we get in there. I, I will, let me ask you one question before. Yeah. Do you, do you feel a certain type of way that when it comes to you, niggas won't focus on the music or focus on the accolades? They always go back to be like, oh, he rapped. It. Doesn't bother you. No. Nigga, I'm here with you, literally, with the number one record in the world. Happy as no one that I can say, ha, 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 I, I can't, yo, bro, I can literally do whatever I want. I, I, yo, bro, you know how corny Safari is? <laughs> I could, no, Safari? listen, I could be as corny as him. I can literally do whatever, yo, bro, I can literally, f I can do whatever I want right now. I can literally just go upstairs and buy a f another Lamborghini. Like, I could do, why the f would I care? Like, I, yo, bro, anything I want to do right now, other than go outside because I'm on house arrest. But, but, but do you do want do you want acceptance from, like... No. Not like, like, little Baby, he's cool. Lil Baby's cool. The Baby, he's cool. Um, Roddy Rich, he's cool. Do people look at you as cool? Like, it's kind of like that cool... Do you want to be I'm, this cool table? I'm the... I have the number. I Just understand this. I have the number. And I'm not trying to avoid... Here's the logic. 
I have the number one record in the world. You think I give a fuck about being cool? I'm cool. It's self. Does that make sense? The number one record in the world.